It's been over nine years since I last visited the Glowworm Tunnel. Back then, I reported poor quality roads, and in reality, not much has changed. This road is frequented by trail bike riders and four-wheel drive enthusiasts that explore the many four-wheel drive tracks and fire trails that crisscross throughout the area. Wild animals such as kangaroos and wombats can be a hazard, especially at night. The tunnel can be accessed two ways, either via the Old Bells line of road near the Zigzag Railway at Clarence, or from Lithgow on the State Mine Gully Road. Both roads lead onto the Glowworm Tunnel Road. Today, we are entering via the Old Bells line of road. Either way, the trip is approximately 34 kilometres to the car park. The last 10 kilometres are in the Wallamai National Park. Upon reaching the car park, head towards the information booth and from there the walking track continues along the same path as the original railway formation. Along the way you pass through spectacular rock formations. Many of these formed by the rail workers as they carved through the surrounding rock. As you enter the 400 metre long tunnel, be sure to watch your footing on the uneven surface. Wear good walking shoes and be sure to take a decent torch. I recommend a head worn torch like the one that you see here. This enables you to keep both hands free. The Glowworm Tunnel is one of two now abandoned tunnels on the original railway. The first tunnel is the one I drove through earlier and this, the Glowworm Tunnel, curves through almost 180 degrees and consequently it is very dark. While glowworms occur in other dark damp places in the Blue Mountains, the Glowworm Tunnel is probably the best place for the visitor to see them. Found only in Australia and New Zealand, glowworms are one of our country's greatest spectacles. Australia is home to eight recognised glowworm species, known for their spectacular bioluminance or living light. Despite their names, 
these luminous locals are not actually worms, but the larvae of a primitive fly, the fungus gnat, and they form a large component of the insect's boom and bust life cycle. Just as the last of the outside light disappears, turn off your torch, remain very quiet, and watch as nature's beautiful light show appears all around you. The glowworms are, however, very sensitive to habitat disturbance, in particular noise, lights, touching and smoke fumes. As you exit the tunnel on the other side, the canyon opens up into a very beautiful valley surrounded by ferns and native eucalypts, amongst many other plant species. You will enjoy the songs of the native birds and may even catch a glimpse of the brush turkeys as they go about their day. Continue along this track following the Walgren Valley Railway Formation and you will eventually reach the old Shalol mining town of Nunes, a distance of approximately 11 kilometres away.